so guys if you are new to this channel if you are new to this channel you're welcome if you are if you have always been here you're welcome to remember this our channel is a channel for upcoming fashion designers that are looking forward to um, new things new grounds to break okay so what you need to do to survive in this business is keep rolling out beautiful designs and i tell you people will always come knocking on your door keep making yourself better and i tell you people will keep knocking on your door so this is the tutorial let's go right into it now hello beautiful first people first. how are we this all doing pattern. so this is Mark a continuation of the previous video the link will be in the description box so that if you want Slanting you can inside. go Mark back and inch watch this particular backside okay you can go and watch this particular backside i did complete illustration but just this is just a recap this in case if you did not watch inch. that video but okay. i think you should go and now, watch that video because it started from, from the beginning okay so you know how we arrived where we are now like okay so. so and this after watching this video Gradually, we'll okay. go from the front Extend it to the back, up with uh, to the, uh, from the back now, to the front this pattern. Line okay. that you so, to make extended. this our beautiful style, I encourage you to go check out that initial video. You will uh, understand it. More. Thank you guys for being on this channel as we go right into this inch. tutorial. Okay. Now, get on your this things particular ready and we go. This side. On this particular half inch, on this half inch that you marked here, mark two inches up. On that half inch you marked here, mark two inches up. Now from now you are going to connect this particular line, okay, to anywhere here. This particular dot to anywhere here, okay. Remember that you mark two inches from that half an inch now rule that line down okay rule that line down to this area okay from the half inch that you marked rule that line down to that two inches that you marked which you have joined to this area the next thing that we are going to be doing after we have joined these two lines okay the next thing that we are going to be doing is to come down by half inch on this side okay you come down by half inch then you use our curved ruler or you can use your free hand but since i have my curved ruler i'll be using my curved ruler to curve out like so now remember remember that quarter inch okay that you marked initial time that when we started remember it now we are going to be using a our curved ruler if you don't have the curve ruler, there is no problem. You can use your free hand to connect this particular point, okay, to that. Okay, to connect this particular line, okay, to connect this particular line to that quarter inch. okay so you can see the back neckline have been built up by two inches can you see we have connected this one like so covering it out we have connected it like so please do not take cognizance of this one this is your neckline like so okay has been raised to by two inches from the normal neckline and we are done with it okay so right now We'll move over to the front part okay this is our front pattern so the very first thing we are going to be doing is now just like we did for the back line we are going to be marking a quarter inch like so okay we are going to be marking a quarter inch like so and everything you did on the back Pattern is what we are going to still be repeating here just a little bit of differences okay so now we will mark quarter inch just like the way we marked on the on the back pattern and then we will raise just mark out a raised line from that quarter inch 
okay we'll just mark a raised line from that quarter inch like so okay now we'll still mark half inch exactly what we did for the back pattern we will mark half inch here okay so now from this half inch i drew here okay from this half inch i drew here i'm going to be going up by two inches then you mark use your ruler to set a straight line from the base okay this is two inches the same two inches is what you are going to mark here from the base of the neckline you mark two inches like we came up by two inches here now you will also still come up come out by one inch here okay you will come up by one inch here and then you will use ruler use your ruler okay use your ruler to connect it nicely this way okay now after connecting it this way you will now connect this same point to this one initial quarter inch that you marked on the shoulder and that's what we are going to do now okay so you can see our color has formed and um, very nicely too okay very nicely too now we are going to be since it's a v-neck so now we are done with the neck line okay we are done with it if you look at it you are going to see our neckline has formed very well so this is where you now determine the style you want for your uh, neckline if you if you want it to be that green design that is on the screen this is where you decide it if you want it to be that other one that is the judge this is where you desi decide it and that is what informs the kind of line you are going to be drawing out here okay that's what will inform how you are going to draw draw out your neckline let's assume you want to make it um the the style on the green uh, mat style that you are seeing on your screen now so you place your tape rule on this original neckline this is original borderline okay and then you choose the depth you want for your neckline okay for that green one you can just come in by one inch here and then you slant it out nicely okay but for the judge now from the list that the, from the style I'm seeing on the screen you can see that when coming down to this normal neckline it was a little bit wide which is like two inches okay so you are going to mark two inches here and then bring it down to maybe like five inches or six inches anyhow you want it my major plan is to draw out this neckline for you and you have seen how this neckline was plotted so however you play with the with the neckline now determine depends on you but for now after after this tutorial today i'll be drafting exactly how they drafted that neckline for the judge but for today let's drive down one that is on that green uh, um, uh, fabric this illustration that is showing on your screen now and how they did it was coming down by at least that one was overlapping but let's assume that you just want to make a normal v-neck now what you are going to do is to come in here by one inch okay you come in here on the original neckline by one inch and then you choose the depth you want for your uh, for your neckline but i will choose to make my eight inches okay so from here like so you take it down to the eight inches okay and then you cut out now after cutting out when you cut out your uh, let's let me show you let me cut this particular pattern out so that you can see from here we start talking of how we are going to uh, design our neckline let me just 
you can choose to make yours higher than two inches okay you know we raise this color by two inches here some can try to make their own as long as four inches three inches it depends but because we are just starting that is why i made mine two inches so that it can be able for us to coordinate okay so you cut out on uh, your your you cut out on your fabric Now this is for the back pattern. On getting to this place, on getting to this place, just know that you are cutting it like so. Okay. So we are done cutting. This is the back part, part and this is our front pattern. Okay, this is our back pattern. Please remember that the back pattern we have a zip allowance here. I just decided to cut it plain like this so that you see what it looks like. Now the back pattern you are going to be folding this side inside. But let's assume that you have already placed your zip allowance on your fabric. Just place your material this way and then you just cut out and that will be all. Now after everything, measure this neckline here to be sure that it is equal with that of the back pattern so let's make sure it then if it's not equal i'll show you how to trim it out seven inches mine is exactly equal okay but let's assume that after cutting it out one is a, 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 one is different by length all you need to do is just trim out the neckline okay let's assume that this one was six inches and this one was six and a half all you just need to do is that half that is short that is the one that is more in length just trim it out if this is the half assume that this is the half and then you trim it out this way okay trim it out from the neckline not from this place if you trim it out from here if you trim let's assume that this one is six and a half and this is six and six after you have finished measuring now when you want to trim trim from the neckline if you trim it from the shoulder line the shoulder will not balance it will not drag the collar to this side but if you trim out from here that means the neck can just and the shoulder will still be the same whatever you are doing doing should not affect your shoulder line if not it will not allow your the collar to even sit where it will be dragging the collar you see i have changed i have removed half inch from it now when you join it you will find out that everything will lap properly okay everything will lap properly so guys let's cut it on our, on our fabric so that i can show you let me show you how it will look like on our fabric okay 